Got it. All right. This is my Broncos steam team. So basically all I'm looking for is Patrick Sertain. Anything other than Patrick Sertain is an L. It's an absolute L. I'm quick selling it. So actually these first three slots don't even matter. Okay. Let's go to the specialist. Don't even matter. It's Tony Pollard. These are the three spots that matter. We need a Patrick Sertain. It's Joey Bosa and it's a Charger. Don't disrespect me yet. Fred Warner. Okay, we're going front, middle. Let's go to the secondary. Patrick Sertain. Let's go! Big W. We don't got to roll now. Big w. YouTube, what up? It's your boy, The Truthy Dig, and we at it again with another no money spent psych. Broncos Steam Team video, and boy, do we have some upgrades. Not necessary upgrades, but we do have some upgrades. But before we get into the upgrades, if you could, please like, subscribe. You know the deal. I appreciate the love and support. I said on every video, and y'all continue to amaze me with the support and love. So, salute to y'all. But today, we have the return of the Broncos theme team. It's been a while since we got upgrades. Now, I did try to do a Joe Flacco gameplay. The game wouldn't allow me to do it. Um, corrupted, didn't record. So many things happened. So, I thought that I took that as a sign not to use Joe Flacco. Fred, you won. Um, but today, we got a boy, and you can see him in the starting lineup there, Mr. Patrick Sertain Jr. He did win the team of the year vote, which I thought he would. He is 6'2". He's a good corner. So, I mean, it was only a matter of time, I guess, before he won the team of the, uh, the, team of the year vote. But, as you can see, we do have a couple of upgrades to go through now. The Sheriff is back in the saddle. Um, I did try Tim Tebow. Didn't really like him. No high route master, so I'm rocking with the Sheriff. Um, we did get the Roger Saffold. He gets all AFC Kim, so the line is looking beautiful. Um, er nothing else has really changed in terms of the offense. On defense, though, um, we'll get into that man in a second. We did get a team diamond. Now, as you can see, he's my cornerback five. He plays safety for me, but it is Delta O'Neal. Um, great card. Um, 99 speed. Everything that you want. Um... He's been great. Um, absolutely great. Like I said, he plays safety for me more than anything, and I use him a lot. But the man who the episode is about, the rookie sensation, whose dad played in the NFL, who was an all-pro corner, I believe, for the Dolphins. Not sure if he did it for the Chiefs or not. But Patrick Sertain Jr. And this card, bro, even if you have 25 out of 50 Broncos, it's a golden ticket. It's an absolute golden ticket. Look at this card, fellas. If EA allows me to show... 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 98 agility, jumping 99, player X 92, man 98, zone 99, press 97, agility 98, change of direction 97. Not to mention he's physical as well. 85 hit power with 80, 85 hit power with 80 tackling. Broncos Nation, we got a good one. So um, for all those who told me we should have took Justin Fields over Patrick Sertain, you can drop an apology in the comment section. We'll just take that, you know, as for what it is told you guys we got a good one man um yeah that's basically it um as you see we're 94 overall we did get an upgrade to jack youngblood now yeah i said this on my no money spent video i love the upgrades i truly do appreciate it right stop with the corners stop S just stop with the corners we have 599 ones stop with the corners go to the offense side of the ball or if you're going to upgrade defense we have an 85 d tackles are starting d tackle 79 technically our starting right ends 80 Technically, our starting right, other right end is 81 or 79 and 81. Upgrade our defensive line. We can use a linebacker. We got Danny Trevathan. Obviously, I'm rocking Junior Sale. We will get Luke Keekley when his price drops, but that's where we need the upgrades at. Offense and then D-line, essentially. Um, so, yeah, but look, I do think Von Miller could be getting a playoff card this weekend um, because of his playoff performance, especially during the, Super Bowl, the Broncos Super Bowl run. So, he may be like one of those legends like Russ and Marshawn Latimer were with last week, so be on the lookout for that, or he may get in a playoff car. But without further ado, I know what we came here to do. Let's get into the game, and I think it's our Super Bowl, so we'll see if the Sheriff being back in the saddle, along with the young buck Patrick Sertain, could bring the Labardi home. As you can see, we are in the Super Bowl against Party Next Door. Obviously, that's Richard Sherman. We're not going to be able to see his whole team, so... Let's just see if we can bring home this Lombardi, man. Peyton Manning did it in his last game. Let's see if he can do it in this game. All right? Let's get it. First and 10 um, coming out on offense here. Let's see what we can do um, with 18. So he's just going to – we're going to take the flat. We got Judy. Um, get out there. Get out there. Get up there. Nice play. Nice play. 
All right, second and 10 here. Um, he's in a 3-4, which if he drops that outside linebacker out, which he does not, looks like it's a cover two. We got Vernon. We got Vernon. Let's go, Vernon. Let's go, Vernon. Get to the crib. Get to the crib. 7-0. Hey, the sheriff ain't playing, but it's a defensive gameplay too, so let's get Patrick Sertain out there. First and 10, my opponent does have Joe Montana, so he is going to have a pretty good team. Uh, he may have it on. Oh, no. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. With them having Joe Montana, I have to worry about him scrambling. So I'm going to put um, Homeboy in the spy. He may have a touchdown here. Ty Law just got burnt. All right. Didn't try Patrick Sertain, but let's get back on the offense. All right. So second possession, first and 10. He's still running a 3 4, which is weird. Um, but we're going to take Jerry Judy because he's wide open in the flats. Get out of there. Easy money all day. All right, so he's out of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to hit Jerry Judy again on, on a deep over route. If he's going to be there, it looks like he is if I step up. Yep. Let's go, Judy. <sighs> I thought a rat caught that, but good throw, Peyton. Now, I, th I think he may be in man here. I think he might be. Um, we're going to test it. And he is. And we have Judy. Cooking. Cooking. Let's go, 10. That's what I need to see from you on the field next year. Speaking of Judy, Bronco Nation, how do we feel about Judy being included to get Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams? Let me know down below. That's a pick. Let's go, John Lynch. Good lurk, baby. Yes, sir. Let's get back on offense. How do we feel about Judy being included in the package for Rodgers? Now, it's reported that Rodgers and Adams both want to come to Denver. Um, I don't know how I feel about both of them coming and us potentially losing Judy. I need you to go get that, B-Marsh. I need you to go. Mm, that was a silly play. Silly play on my part. Silly play on my part. My bad. My bad. Got a little bit too aggressive. But. Let me know down below. What do you think about Judy being traded? Oh, as we get a Roger Craig. Ah! Yuck. We had a chance to put the game away, and we did not, which is unfortunate. But we're still on defense. We need um our defensive line. See, EA, this is why we need D-line. Jack Youngblood can only do so much. I also think on that post, if I have someone faster, that may be a touchdown because Brandon Marshall only has 97 speed. Let's go, Jack Youngblood. As I was just talking about him, apparently he can do everything. Jack Youngblood. He can rush the passer. He's a good quarterback spy. I don't know what he can do. Now, we're going to try this again, but I'm going to do it a bit different this time. I'm going to see if I can hit Brandon Marshall on this route because we should, in theory, be able to. And we have him, too. <clears throat> we absolutely had Brandon Marshall there. We just didn't have the time. That's all. So we're just going to go back to the staple. He's going to leave the flats wide open like he always does. Brandon. Okay, Jerry Judy, get, get silly. Maybe we should just need to keep feeding Jerry Judy. All right, I'm going to go back to this again and just hope we can get separation again. It's more importantly, I hope we can get time. That's what I need more than anything is time. So I'm going to block my running back and see if we can get time. I think we got it. I think we got it. Go get it. Go get it. Brandon Marshall. I see you, Peyton. I'm trying to get this ring, baby. Bring it home. And he is out of here. Is he out of here? I guess he's gone. Super Bowl dub. As y'all can see, we get a legend Super Bowl victory with the Broncos Steam team. Big W, Super Bowl win. We getting everything. 20K, 55K. Legend to avoid demotion. 5K. Look, I, I rarely open up packs on here. Let's do a pack opening. Let's open up our touchdown pack and see what we get. See if it's going to be nice. Is it going to be nice? I wish it was a coin quick sale, Aaron Donald, but we will take an 88. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Let me know down below, Broncos country, what do you think we should do? We're the odds on favor to get Aaron Rodgers, right? But it's reported that Devontae and Rodgers wants to come play. A package I seen was Jerry, Judy, two first, and another young player. What do you think about that? 
I don't mind parting with Jerry Judy for Devontae Adams because Devontae Adams is a better version of Jerry Judy at this moment. I know Jerry Judy has upside potential, but obviously with Aaron Rodgers, we would be in win now mode. So, and if he's bringing Devontae along with him, or do we trade one of the receivers we just signed, Tim Patrick or Sutton, to make the money work? I don't know, man. I would love to see 12 in Denver. Um, absolutely would love it. Follow the Peyton Manning footsteps, leave your stomping grounds, come here, win a um, title in your twilight years. But, you know, I'm always signing out with that mile high salute. Deuces.